one. Hi today, everybody. I'm Jason Silas, joined by two friends of mine at an agency that is doing so much good work in our community. So um, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome Annette Uggen and Pat Lucis from the Department of Public Health and Social Services. And we want to say uh, happiest of holiday blessings to the both of you and your team over there, guys. Happy holidays, Jason. Happy holidays to you. Okay, so yeah, and that is kind of the point why we're talking about this today, because, you know, the holidays for so many, it's a time when, you know, uh, you know, our hearts are full, our bellies are full. Um, and, you know, our mind may, you know, be on other things, because obviously, there's a whole lot going on. But you guys stay completely focused on the mission, which is historically, the data will show that like after the holidays and after congregation type of events and everything like that, the cases of flus, and I guess in this particular case, COVID should go up. So we want to remind everybody that it's absolutely imperative on each and every one of us that if you're not feeling well, stay home. And if, you know, knock on wood, if you test positive for any of the things that are out there, the flu, RSV, or COVID and everything like that, um, there are steps that you re that you should be taking, right, Annette? Yes, Stephanie, yeah. And that's really a good point. You know, we, the gathering and yes, we enjoyed each other's company. Uh, the shopping malls were really crowded, you know, for the, oh, yeah. the holiday shopping. And, you know, there there was a mix of people with masks and without masks. And again, that's the important thing is, uh, yes, our numbers may be going down or fluctuating up and down, as Dr. Ann mentioned, you know, previously. But again, we can't let our guard down, you know, stay home if you're sick. And again, because a lot of these symptoms are similar between flu, RSV, and COVID, you don't know what you have until you get tested. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you know, still practice those three W's and get vaccinated. And, you know, we want to keep emphasizing that there's a new bivalent vaccine out there. So if you haven't received that bivalent booster to please go and get it, you know, we want you to stay up to date as much as possible. Uh, you know, the, the COVID, vaccine, COVID vaccine is available. Uh, for all ages, six months and older. And so we want people to get that primary series if they haven't done it. If they've been completed with that primary series, please get the bivalent booster when it's time. Mm -hmm. And Pat, you know, it's it's kind of interesting because, um, you know, the, the resources um, that public health has provided and, you know, has stood up, you know, over the course of the pandemic, you know, I mean, it may have been dialed back a little bit, but there's still a lot of ways that if you need information, you can find out things. If you should happen to test positive, you know, you can go and get that confirmatory test or you can go get the vaccines. I mean, that that's still available 100%. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so um, we have uh, available sites for you to go uh, uh, get vaccinated and to get tested. And I'll, I'll run through that in a bit. Um, also, uh, Many of our residents have, do have access to uh, home test kits. And if you don't have home test kits, you actually can go to covid.gov um, access test, and you can actually order test kits, you get four test kits. So uh, many uh, uh, individuals have been doing that and reporting to our, um, to our uh, department. Uh, but if you don't have any of those kits, you can actually come to uh, the plaza uh, over um, by the Dusty Beach Resort. Uh, that one we open six days a week from Monday to Saturday for testing. And our hours there is from uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then 2 p.m. to 4, uh, I mean, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. For vaccinations, a little bit different. Uh, we did open uh, an additional site uh, just for the holidays. Um, so our vaccine uh, operations is from at the plaza is Monday to Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, and then 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. But on uh, Thursday and Friday, um, the message has been out there that we're over at the um, Skinner Plaza behind the museum uh, by the stage. So our hours at the plaza is on Thursday, Friday is from uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And then our, our, our team goes down to uh, Skinner Plaza uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. So um, we have availability at those sites. Or, you know, you can always go to our, our clinics and, um, and make an appointment. Sure, of course, the, nor the Northern uh, Public Health Regional Community Center, of course, in Dedido and down in, in Lahan for uh, for the Southern Regional Health Center. Pat, I really like how you guys kind of like tied in, you know, the public health resources to uh, tourism, it seems, because, yeah, if you want to go downtown, you know, go go get a vaccine, go get, talk to some people about information, then go to the museum. Or if you're in Tumon, I lived in Tumon for 11 years, go and get a home test kit, then, you know, go get, go get something to eat, go to the beach, spend money. <laughs> yeah we do yeah i'm all about tourism we want to <laughs> uh you know spread our community through uh through many of our uh all time restaurant association and then also to our our you know wherever we can wherever our community congregates we do want to mention that if you are going to get tested if you do have symptoms uh we prefer you go to the clinic and then if no symptoms you know you can go down to the uh plaza to get tested 
Mm -hmm. And I guess what we're talking about today, Annette, if I may, we're, we're trying to contextualize this in uh, and frame this in the sense of, you know, this is preventive maintenance because, again, we know that, uh, that the numbers are just naturally going to rise uh, after the holidays. And I think, you know, a lot of people saw it as this wonderful uh, Christmas present from, uh, you know, Santa Public Health when, you know, territorial epidemiologist Dr. Annette Babutsky, as you said, you know, was saying the numbers were going down and people were like, OK, great. But, you know, we don't want people, you know to not stay sharp and to not, you know, practice that one thing that we've been talking about is enough Maulik and the respect that we have, you know, for each other. And that really got us as a community uh, through the mm -hmm. pandemic. And we want people to continue that. Yes, definitely. And, you know, I've, I've always said public health cannot do this alone. We need the whole community to help us uh, protect our island, protect each other. You know, there are some individuals who can't get the vaccine, uh, can't take the, the, the treatment should they test positive. Um, you know, because maybe medical conditions, uh, they have allergies or their age. And so, you know, we have to protect those who can't protect themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, take personal responsibility, get vaccinated if you can. Again, vaccines are like medicine, are, is a medicine. So not everyone can take it. They are not 100% effective, but they will definitely protect you from severe illness, per, hopefully prevent you from being hospitalized and ultimately preventing death, right? Uh, so we want to take that, those preventive measures the washing your hands, wearing your mask, uh, you know, watch your distance, stay home if you're sick, get the vaccine, test if you're symptomatic. And if you uh, do test positive, stay home until you're clear to go back to work. Uh, you know, thankfully school is on break right now, but you know, we're seeing that when school, school gets back in, we're worried about kids, you know, um, spreading it to each other, the, the faculty and staff, and then everyone's bringing it home. And then again, we see another surge, right? And that's what we want to prevent. We're trying to get out of this COVID pandemic. You know, we're, we're going to have to live with it, the COVID. Uh, they're talking about having, you know, booster vaccines, similar to like the flu vaccine, right, down the road. Uh, but right now it's kind of get tested, get treated, Stay home if you're sick, get the vaccine if you haven't. If you are up to date on your vaccines for the primary, get boosted. Because mm -hmm. right now it's it's a new vaccine, the bivalent. It protects you from the original strain and now it protects you from two variants of Omicron. You know, and that's something too. Viruses always change. Um, they can um, mutate into different versions. And that's where you're hearing all about these variants, right? From the Delta to the Omicron. And so the current vaccines available in the US have been proven to be safe and effective. So it's like it's like we say in software, it's backwards compatible, right? It, co it covers the most <laughs> recent variants and the stuff that came before it. Correct. And so we want to pr protect as many people as possible from the circulating virus variants so that, if, God forbid, there's another straight variant that comes out. You know, it, it um, we have minimal uh, interruptions mm -hmm. to society again, as in illnesses and the increase in uh, hospitalizations and stuff, right? Uh, you know, for those who've, who've been vaccinated and had COVID infection, you hear a lot of, of um, people saying, you know what, it was mild. It wasn't as bad as I heard other people. And so that's what we want to do is, again, it's not 100% effective, but it will definitely protect you from severe illness. Um, it'll reduce your symptoms. It'll re it will decrease the amount of time you're out from work as well, because, you know, it's minimal compared to others where I heard it was so bad that they couldn't get out of bed for a week you know, versus others who were vaccinated, you know, it's, it felt like a code and it wasn't too bad. You know, thankfully I was vaccinated uh, or I went and did get tested and, and the doctor gave me the medication right away. And so that's what, yeah. again, we need to remind people there are preventive treatments out there. Take the preventive measures, you know, protect each other, protect yourself and your loved ones and, you know, to help us get through this. I know, you know, I, you know, and I think about it, you know, like relatives of mine, they all, they would always say, Jason, make sure you clean the house, you know, make sure you sweep the floor and everything. Cause you don't want, you know, germs coming in. This is kind of like the same thing. I can't believe right. I, just, yeah. I just, I just equated my grandmother telling me to sweep the floor to actually getting vaccinated. But, you know, I mean, it, it is, it is, you know, making sure that, you know, you can take care of yourself. Yes. And, and, and protecting our loved ones who can't really protect themselves, you know, like our manamko, we, we were always, stay away, you know, protecting mom and Nana and Tata, you know, wear your mask or, oh, just do the air mangingi, right, from a distance versus actually <laughs> kissing, right, like yeah. our, our culture. But, you know, it, it was an adjustment our manamko had to get used to as well because, oh, how come I can't hug my grandchildren and stuff, you know, that we had to keep reminding them it's because you don't know they might unintentionally spread the virus to you and then you have severe symptoms because you're you know you're older and your immune system is weakened so again yeah. uh, you know going back to what you said about the infant malik right so that's that's it all ties in 
Well, Pat, if I, if I may share something uh, like real quick, I don't want to you know editorialize, but um, I actually had COVID. I've never said this publicly before, but I had COVID about a month and a half ago, and um, I self tested at home, and I knew I was feeling bad. I had the symptoms, and you know, like I talked about it on the radio for two straight years, so I was like, yeah, I probably have it. I did the um, uh, the self test kit from you know from the website that I got it. So, and I tested positive. But what was really really important to me, so that I could give you guys you know accurate data, was I said, and now I should probably go. To one of the public health resources and make sure that they officially uh can uh can qualify me and everything and i got to tell you pat man your staff there they could not have been more professional um more compassionate or, or more helpful they, they really had my back every step of the way and i was i had such a positive experience dealing with them yeah i'm i'm, uh, I'm really happy that uh, our staff is able to provide all the information what to do if you're uh, positive how to isolate from the rest of your family members so that they don't get exposed uh how is it you know how do you get your meals how to use the restroom you know sanitize after you use the restroom if you only have one restroom although i say if you have more than one you know use use a separate restroom and i identify that for those who are isolated so yeah our, our team is ready and uh willing to give you all the information that you'll need uh, how to get, uh, you know, um, you know, your, how to get access to your, your meds or any kind of wraparound services. If you do get positive, um, and um, thank you for bringing that uh, up, Chase. So you can actually send your uh, information to dphss.surveillance at dphss dphss.guam.gov. And uh, once you send that to our team, uh, we'll reach out to you and we'll provide you all the information and <clears throat> how you can get access to uh, uh, anything and how to properly uh, isolate. Yeah, because because it's important to me, you know, being being in the media and being like a data dork is that we actually have, you know, like, a, you know, the accurate numbers of people that are testing positive in our community so that you guys know so that you can, you know, come up with your plans and to see how we can handle this. Because, I mean, imagine if if no one was practicing disclosure, or they were just like keeping it to themselves and everything like that. We wouldn't really know. So, I mean, this is this is a critical part. And it's not I mean, you know, the process that that takes you through it. I mean, no one likes to hear that they're positive. But for me, it wasn't scary at all. And like I said, your staff was very, very helpful. Yes, your your um, your report to us is very critical to uh, our, our data surveillance and how we monitor. And so we appreciate you uh, making the report to our, our department. OK, so if they t if a resident should test positive at home uh, for, you know, for anything again, you know, like uh, do they still need to go and do the uh, the confirmatory uh, test with public health? Um, our team would actually uh, provide you uh, would provide you advice on that one. Okay. And so there are some times that we do need you to come in for a confirmatory. Okay. They'll run you through a, a series of assessments and they'll provide you the proper guidance. All right. And 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 again, more importantly, this is going to keep you know the overall numbers um, that you know the Joint Information Center is able to report. So we get a very very accurate view of you know like what the virus is and how it's going around our community. It's going to keep that number. Um, as accurate to to real as possible. Correct. Okay, so yes. um, so I guess wrapping up as we uh, as we head into 2023, um, is there anything else in that that people should know about? You know, we're to, of course we're talking about the flu, RSV, uh, COVID, and everything. Just so we can, you know, uh, possibly parents or teachers, because you know people that oversee you know large numbers of uh, of other people, especially little ones. Well, Chris, I'd like to thank you for sharing your personal story and, and to help push the word out there that. You know, it's it's again a community effort. You you, you reported it to us, and you know we're we're helping each other, uh, and that we can get through to get through this together. Uh, you know, getting tested, getting treated if needed. Um, you know, staying home again, getting vaccinated. Uh, it's one of the best preventive measures out there for COVID. Uh, it's safe and effective. So please, minimum age is six months and older. The vaccine is better than getting the infection, getting the disease, possibly being hospitalized, uh, you know, and having long-term complications. You hear about that, right? The COVID uh, long-term um, uh, symptoms and, and uh, issues that people are dealing with that can take months to years. And so that's what we want to prevent. We want to get our people uh, back into some sense of normalcy, you know, and, and again, the numbers go up and down, but it's very important. Yes, please, if you self-test, Report it to public health because the data helps drive our decisions and our, our, and our response efforts. So if we're seeing an increase in cases, then we know, you know, we have to ramp up testing, ramp up vaccination efforts, which the public health has done, you know, at the direction of the governor. And that's why last week, this week, we're at Skinner Plaza, 4 to 6 p.m. So we have morning, afternoon, and now we have 
early evening hours for people to avail of their services. Please talk to your private provider. There, there are our partners out there who are offering the vaccine. Uh, you know, if you can't make it to the public health uh, outreach events or clinics, please talk to your provider uh, and avail of it at your primary doctor. If you have any questions or concerns, especially for your young child, right? And you're worried about side effects. Not everyone can get the vaccine, but it's still, it's safe, effective. Uh, we've used it, we're going on almost three years, right? And so millions of doses have been made available out and given shot in the arm in the US um, once it became available. So again, it's safe, effective, please get vaccinated. If you have any questions, talk to your primary care doctor, talk to the, to the nurse, uh, to trusted individuals to get the right information and to make an informed decision. But again, it's about protecting each other, protecting those who can't protect themselves. And again, helping us get out of this COVID uh, situation. All right, so perfectly said. Yeah, and Pat, Pat, I'd like to, uh, the final word is yours, my friend, because, uh, you know, we, we we would like to watch the fireworks, you know, like when 2023 rings in as they're being provided to us. We don't need another fireworks <laughs> of a virus outbreak. That, that's that's the type of fireworks we don't need. Yeah, we've been we've been doing a, um, a good job. Everyone's been doing uh, their part in trying to keep this thing contained. So uh, we it is the holidays. We are there is going to be a lot of uh, celebrations, but we do want to remind you of the three W's, and that's wash your hands, wash your distance, wear a mask if you can, especially when you're uh, around those who are uh, high risk, as uh, we mentioned, as Annette has mentioned earlier. I do. Um, want to mention uh, a couple of a few numbers here. Uh, we did we did mention that if you do want to, if you are symptomatic and uh, need to get tested, you need to go to uh, any of our clinics. I do want to mention a couple of numbers uh, for our uh, northern um, uh, public health uh, site. That's identical six three five seven five two five, and for southern you can call eight two eight seven six zero four. Uh, for vaccines, um, for appointments at Northern, you can call 635-7400 or 4410. And for Southern, you can call 828-7604. I do want to thank you, Jace and uh, KUM, for always being a partner and helping us get the message out to our community. Um, you know, it's the it's the best uh, way that uh, you have a lot of reach from your, uh, from your uh, network. And so we really appreciate you being a partner and helping us get the message out to our community. Thank you so well, much. Pat, Pat the, the honor is all ours. And trust us, we, we've got the easy part because I guess, you know, like uh, what my friends have said here today, ladies and gentlemen, is, you know, like if something should should happen or if you do test positive and uh, give public health a call because they truly will take care of you. And as I said, I mean, I'm I'm testament to that. And I'm very glad I did so. So Annette Uggen and Patrick Lucis from the Department of Public Health and Social Services. Thank you both. And again, we wish uh, the both of you and your teams and your families a very happy holiday season. Thank, thank you, so Jason. Happy, happy holidays, holidays and happy to you year. too. Yes, All right. Thank you. you. Thank you very thank much. Take care.